Hello everyone and welcome to Miss Liz's Storytime Online. So like all of our story times, we always begin with our hello song. We clap and sing hello. So we clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello with our friends at story time. We clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello with our friends at story time. We wave and sing hello. Hello, welcome to story time. So if you've been following along at home for our ABCs of story times, last week we had K, right? Miss Kathy had K is for kangaroo. So do you know what letter comes after K? Yes, L. Now, normally I would have you guess what would be our L word for this week. So I, I will definitely let you do that. But first, I have a little rhyme for you that makes you give a hint for what L word we have, okay? Okay, so first, I love to sleep out in the sun and chase other animals just for fun. In the savanna, I'm number one. I am a roar. What am I? That's right, a lion. Yes, L is for lion. You wanna do the rhyme again? It's a lot of fun, okay. So first, I love to sleep out in the sun and chase other animals just for fun. In the savanna, I'm number one. I'm a roar lion. Very good. So now we usually do sign language for our word of the day. So our word is lion. So to say lion in sign language, take your right hand, make a claw, and then you run it from the top of your head back like you're going through your mane. So your claw up through your mane, and that means lion. Lion. Very good. Again. So I have a little finger play for us. It's called Five Little Lions. Because you got five little fingers. <laughs> so put up your five little lions. Okay. Five little lions went out for a stroll. One tripped on his tail and started to roll. He bounced on a rock and landed with a growl. So bounce him and land him. How many lions are left to prowl? So if one's down, we have, that's right, four little lions. So, four little lions out for a stroll. One tripped on his tail and started to roll. I like to roll. <laughs> he bounced on a rock and landed with a growl. <sighs> How many lions are left to prowl? Three. So now we have three lions. Three little lions out for a stroll. One tripped on his tail and started to roll. He bounced on a rock and landed with a growl. <sighs> How many lions are left to prowl? Two. Yes. Two little lions out for a stroll. One tripped on his tail and started to roll. He bounced on a rock and landed with a growl. Ugh. How many lions are left to prowl? One, yes. One last little lion. One little lion out for a stroll. He tripped on his tail and started to roll. He bounced on a rock and landed with a growl. Ugh. How many lions are left to prowl? None, we're done. Very good. Our book for today is Lion Lessons by John Aggie. We're gonna learn how to be a lion. What do we have on the front? We have a big lion and a little kid 
dressed as a lion, so maybe he's the one that's learning how to be a lion. Let's see. So, lion Lessons by John A. It's not easy getting your lion diploma. I know, I took lessons. Wants to graduate into being a lion. My teacher was a pro. There are seven steps to becoming a lion, he said, but first we must stretch. Stretch. <laughs> and his his pro teacher is a is a big lion, yeah. Do we know what kind of lion he is? Male lion, because he's got the big mane. So the little boy is training to be a male lion, too. We did the upward lion. The downward lion. The upside down lion. Can you go upside down like that? Wow. The rolling lion. The flying lion. And we shook our mane. Miss Liz can shake her mane. Can you shake your mane? It would be more impressive if my hair was <laughs> not tied back, but if I had my hair all out, it would be a big mess. So you gotta shake your mane if you're a lion. What else do we do? Let's see. Step one was looking fierce. Ooh. Watch me, says the lion. You bare your claws, you gnash your teeth, and you show your fangs. Wow, that's a scary face Miss Liz just made. <laughs> Didn't know my face could stretch like that. You wanna be a lion? Okay, let's bare our claws. Let's gnash our teeth and show our fangs. You don't have very long fangs, but maybe it's enough. I tried out my three most threatening poses, but the lion wasn't impressed. He wasn't scared at all. Step two was roaring. It's simple, said the lion. Take a deep breath and roar as loud as you can into the microphone. Okay, so let's try it. Take a deep breath and roar. <gasps> roar! Did you do good? Awesome. Let's see how he did. I took a deep breath and roared as loud as I could. Roar! Needs work, said the lion. Hmm. Wasn't loud enough. Step three was choosing what to eat. The lion showed me the menu. What's on the menu? Let's see. Muskrat, iguana, wombats, antelopes, warthogs. These are all things that lions eat. Do you want to eat a warthog? Maybe if you're a lion, you do. Are there any specials I asked you? You know, like spaghetti. Do lions eat spaghetti? The lion growled, we don't eat spaghetti. Ooh, step four was prowling around. So we crept through the woods, trying to be invisible. We hid in the bushes. I can see your tail, said the lion. <laughs> okay, we hid behind the trees. Your tail, said the lion. I can still see it. <laughs> it's not a very good hider. Can you hide good? Wow. Step five was sprinting. Do you know what sprinting is? It's running very fast. Or fair, very fast and very far. It's a special kind of running. Do you see that tree, said the lion. I looked around. 
You mean the little one here? No, said the lion. The big one on that far away hill. I'll meet you there in five minutes. Whoa, he can run all the way up there in five minutes? Ooh, that's fast and far. It took me an hour. You need to hit the gym, said the lion. So he, he got there, but it took him a very long time. Step six was pouncing. Do you know what pouncing is? Yes, you jump up on someone. Cats do it a lot. It's simple, said the lion. You get a running start, and then you jump on that lady. <laughs> Uh-oh, but I'll scare her to death. Uh, yeah, that's the idea, said the lion. Ooh. So, I got a running start. And I pounced. What a little kitty cat, said the lady. Are you lost? Meow, I said. Do you think his pouncing went well? I mean, he did sneak up on her, and he did jump on her. But he didn't scare her, so I don't think so. The lion checked my scores. This is not very promising. Oh, he's not doing very well in his lion lessons. Step seven was looking out for friends. That's very right away, I spotted a kitten. Friend or foe, said the lion. Okay, so is he his friend or... Not his friend, his enemy, his foe. That's easy, I said. Friend. <gasps> what about that dog? Ooh, he's chasing the kitten. Do you think dogs are friends with lions? Oh, lions don't like dogs. I let, a fer let out a ferocious roar. <gasps> roar! I bared my claws and gnashed my teeth and pawed the ground and shook my mane and then I sprinted across the field as fast as I could. So he's doing all his lion lessons. He roared really loud, bared his claws, gnashed his teeth, pawed the ground and shook his mane and then he sprinted. and pounced, exactly like a, well, you know, a lion. Bravo, said the lion. So he pounced on the dog and how's the kitten doing? Kitten looks happy and safe. And that's how I got my diploma. I'm very proud of it. But now the neighborhood cats won't leave me alone. So he completed his lion lessons, graduated with his lion diploma, and now the neighborhood cats won't leave him alone because he's a big cat like that. Is that a silly book? Yes, I like this silly book. So I have a craft this week that I hope you picked up. If you weren't able to pick it up in the library, that's okay. I'll show you what it looks like and you can maybe make it a home. But we've been acting as lions today, right? We did lion lessons and we did our rolling lions for our five little lions. So our craft is... <sighs> A lion mask so you can practice your lion lessons at home so get the chance to put this mask on you can put his nose on and give him his really pretty mane and then at home you can go around and growl pretend to be a lion just don't pounce on anyone <laughs> it's considered very very rude to pounce on someone when they're not expecting it <laughs> So that's our craft for this week. Um, and we have a song to end our day with 
called Lions and Tigers. Ooh. So this, this is only about lions, but tigers are great too, so we have them in there. So it goes, lions and tigers come out to play, out to play, out to play. Lions and tigers come out to play, lions and tigers. And now we're gonna do some stuff, okay? So scooch back. So lions stand up and tigers sit down, tigers sit down. Tigers sit down, lions stand up, and tigers sit down, lions and tigers. Good. Now we're going to do a little bit of movement now. We're not just getting up and standing, okay? So, tiger, so we're up again. So tigers all walk, and lions run, lions run, lions run. Tigers all walk, and lions run, lions and tigers. Lions twist and tigers hop, tigers hop, tigers hop. Lions twist and tigers hop, lions and tigers. You want to do that one again? Okay, good. So, I'm going to scooch back out of my chair. So we go, lions and tigers come out to play, out to play, out to play. Lions and tigers come out to play, lions and tigers. Lions stand up and tigers sit down. Tigers sit down. Tigers sit down. Lions stand up and tigers sit down. Lions and tigers. Now we do. Yes, we get to walk and run, okay? So tigers all walk and lions run. Lions run. Lions run. Tigers all walk. And lions run, lions and tigers. My favorite part. Lions twist and tigers hop, tigers hop, tigers hop. Lions twist and tigers hop, lions and tigers. Very good. <sighs> Been a little while since I did some bouncing around. Oh, let's go for you though. So. We always end our story times with our goodbye song. So thank you for being here for Ellis for Lions story time. And we wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this with our friends at story time. We wave goodbye like this. Goodbye. Thank you for coming to story time. Goodbye.